Okay, hello. Welcome back to the Vehicle Repair Toolbox videos. In this video we're going to talk about rust busting. Some of you will probably know I've started to grow out some whiskers and this is what I'm aiming for. Maybe later. Yeah, bit of maturity. Huh? Anyway, we won't worry about that. So we've been doing rust busting, you remember, we've done components like this on uh, Land Rover Defender stuff. Plenty of ways of busting rust and we did electrolysis, I showed you about vinegar, yeah. Well I got sent a sample to try out which is this, MC51, yeah. This is actually for my benefit because I live in an area where there are children running about outside it's safe yeah which is good yeah it's also biodegradable which you don't have to worry about pouring it down the drain yeah also safe for the skin doesn't give off vapors now your acetic acid 99 percent this is actually very very nasty stuff it gives off some really bad fumes now if you're looking um, to use vinegar which does work yeah it has something like five percent acetic acid so this is the active um, chemical in it that is this okay 99 percent will work fairly quickly but it gives off some really nasty fumes it'll take your breath away it's not good for your skin okay the gas is flammable as well so that's not good i use that for cleaning kettles out now and only a little bit of it watered down. Citric acid, a little bit better. You know citric acid, yeah. You could wipe something with a lemon and it would work, yeah. So this MC51 eliminates rust by soaking, wiping or spraying, yeah. Got a sample outside the back there. And we also have children running about, yeah. And I wouldn't be doing it if there was a chance of those children getting hurt, yeah. So. When you're rust busting, you want to be thinking about how you're going to do it the best possible way for the environment you're in, yeah, and the most effective way. So what I'm going to do is show you the results of what I've got on a, just a few simple tests, yeah. And uh, I'd say that I'm actually quite impressed with this stuff straight away because it works very quickly. You remember? our electrolysis we did clean the calibers it took a long time now if you've not seen the video i'll put a link below here um, so you can click through and watch it if you like yeah but it's, the electrolysis is a long slow process you need somewhere to, to do it you need a, a battery charger to give out the right charge and you have to make up the vat and use caustic soda it works it's effective yeah um, something that's a little bit quicker a little bit quicker like not instantly but almost instantly that's what i'd be looking for yeah so what have we got here we have a sheet of steel it's actually lay on the tractor tire and uh, we've got some stuff soaking and i've got a component here okay you can hear children in the backgrounds and uh, this is one thing you've got to be concerned with my neighbors you probably hear they speak russian actually we're not in russia we're in the, the uk Okay, so my son found an axe head earlier, yeah, while he's walking with his uh, mother. And uh, this is brilliant because I put it in about five minutes ago. Okay, now we'll wipe it. Yeah. And look at the difference already. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see the tide mark. Yeah. All right. This is going to take some soaking. Right. see the tide mark there that's what it originally was like so that's going to shift this this will make a handy tool actually recovered all right break disc we got in here that's going to take a while now this is this is really really weathered but i did wipe it earlier just to check and it's actually you can see it's eating the surface rust and it will go further yeah this is like what you get on an exhaust manifold to be honest with you i don't know why you'd want to rust bust an exhaust manifold unless you were doing a showpiece but it does actually show you how effective it is yeah over here let me just move this out of the way from there i've got some tin here okay now this i wiped earlier yeah that's clean yeah 
Now here's not very uh, rusty part, you can see that, yeah? This will wipe. Okay, I'll just nick a bit out of there. This will wipe. Leave it for a little while. Now oh, look at that, surface rust coming off straight away, yeah? It does work immediately, but you've got to have patience, yeah? I could actually do this whole panel if I had the patience, but I haven't. So, what I'll do, just put some on there and just leave it for a little while to work in and then I'll wipe it again. I know the effects are going to come out like this. Yeah, this is fairly uniformly rusty. It's been outside for a long while. This is a uh, repair panel to cut it up and do uh, welding on stuff. Yeah, so you can see this. What you also notice is that I'm not taking much care about my skin health, which should do. And then, of course, there's the uh, stuff. It's almost new. That's got patches of rust on it. Yeah. Can't just nick another bit out of there. Again, this is what it's good for. Yeah. This puts the value up on this component, yeah, because it was sitting around in the garage. Managed to get a few splashes of water on it, and it started to rust like this as well. Yeah. I think you guys probably remember that I did uh, some stuff on uh, defender brakes. Yeah. When this is finished, you uh, you wash it off with water. Yeah, it's water soluble, okay, and you can put it down the drain, so it's uh, environmentally safe. Yeah, can you see this? How I'm cleaning this is uh, it's pretty good and it's damn effective as well, yeah. I mean, what else would you use? Something like a wire wheel, whatever? Don't know. You can hear the children playing in the background still, yeah, it's alright. That's what it's about, yeah. Health and safety is about concern for your own safety and the safety of others. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to tip this up on end so I'll get more fluid for my money. I'm going to leave that immersed. That will take a while because it's very heavily rusted. This stuff's got to work. But you can see the effect it's got on it, yeah? Pretty damn good. We're on 45 minutes for the brake disc, and I think we'll leave that a few hours, okay? And then I'll come back and I'll sort it. After three hours, I didn't actually take this out and wash it. Yeah. Here's this. Okay. A little bit more to go. But you can see how much rust that's actually removed, which is pretty damn good. Yeah. The brake disc also. I, mean, I did wash it. I thought I'd check it. Not bad. Not bad. It's not going to remove this stuff very well. Nor on here. You see the working surface here. This is what it originally looked like, and now this is what it's actually done. So it's effective, yeah? And we'll see where it's worked on the other side as well. Takes time, obviously there's a buildup of corrosion there, but this is pretty good going. One thing you've got to be aware of is that any of this rust stuff, okay, when you have pitting, it's eaten into the metal a bit more. So down here and down here, that will need a reapplication and then a scrub off. Okay, a bit of a white brush might do it, but when you see it's gone black, you know damn well that the rust has been worked on, yeah? Okay, so in conclusion, when we look at the, the brake disc, that is very heavily um, corroded. Will work. Use a white brush, remove most of the heavy stuff and it will work much better, yeah? With the axe head, good. Yeah, it's gonna need uh, a little bit, bit more cleaning off. This is where it's been heavily uh, corroded, which is not a problem. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, change this, put it back in, and then I should have a really, not like new, but very clean piece of metal to work with, yeah? 
for the panels okay with the pitting yeah that's going to take a little bit of effort to uh, to dig that out but it will work and that will clean that so what i'm going to say is this stuff is actually really 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 good there's not much more i can say about it i've reviewed it now this is the test and it's done the acid test if you like it's good yeah it's very very good anyway for my regular subscribers if you wonder why i got a tractor tire here You've got to ask yourself why well, I've got some dumbbells and some hammers here in the house as well. Yeah, I'll give you a clue to why I've got this tractor tire in the back yard. Yeah, so anyway, till the next video, see you later.